and I'll see just sit to connect you. So quiet. Amazing, there was so much activity, and then they all decided just to sort of have a little nap. This could be the start of something. Once I wake up, you'll probably see them uh, start getting more active on their carcass again. Start eating. It's into the cavity, oh, it's the stomach. She's definitely moved it, huh? Just wedged the head into the uh, fork of the tree. So a killing bite is normally just a strain a canine straight through the esophagus to cut off the air supply. Whereas cheetah, normally smaller jaws, smaller canines, what they actually do is they push that esophagus together so that cuts off your air supply. So definitely with a leopard kill you'll find that there's two puncture marks around the, normally around the, either the back of the neck or the front of the neck. Back of the neck, snap the vertebra, animal's done. Front of the neck, cut off the air supply. Whereas cheetah is normally right underneath, pushing the windpipe uh, together and cutting off the air supply so they can suffocate. Impala that you guys can see there. I don't know flies, huh? I mean, around the carcass, there are a lot of flies, and also, once again, a lot, a lot of blood. That's how they just decided to join the sneeze. Alright guys, what we're going to do, we're just going to hang around here a little bit and uh, just see what happens. Uh, it's just too nice to, to sort of move away from and uh, we've got the sighting all to ourselves so let's enjoy it while we can. Um, just remember for those guys who have just joined us, you're here live in Juma Game Reserve, Sabi Sand, South Africa with Wild Earth, myself Nick, Helen and Jan at the Live Control Centre. And we're here with three leopards, two cubs, and a beautiful female called Karula. And uh, I don't know who the kids' names are. I haven't. I think they've been named yet. Been introduced. Yeah, they haven't <laughs> been introduced to the whole circle of life. 
it's, but enjoy it guys, sit back, kick back, uh, they're not moving at the moment, they're fast asleep, so as soon as something does happen, they'll give you a shout, um, but yeah, we might as well cut to a water hole, see if anything's happening at the water hole, and then come back to us, we'll see you now.